When World War II ended in Europe, the preparations to bring millions of American soldiers home had already begun, and many Americans expected to return to relative isolation. And because the world he had preserved seemed at last so ready for peace, he turned his pursuits to peaceful things. However, the Soviet Union's influence and actions in Eastern Europe were rapidly expanding. In 1947, as the Soviet Union and other communist countries' influence grew in Greece, Turkey, and Iran, the U.S. turned to Britain to halt the advance of communism. Great Britain, once the foremost global superpower, was nearly bankrupt from the long and costly efforts of World War II. They simply could not afford to assist in fending off the Soviet Union from Western Europe, and so the United States would have to lead the effort. This was a major turning point. U.S. President Harry Truman delivered a speech arguing in what came to be known as the Truman Doctrine that it must be the policy of the United States to support free people who are resisting attempted subjugation by armed minorities or by outside pressure. Truman's position was that the U.S. could not ignore the Soviet Union's forced expansion into independent nations and that American interests in security extended beyond America's physical borders. This was the origin of the American superpower that exists today and America's role as a global policeman.